from Silence the Shame. I'm so excited that today we were able to host the Free Your Feel Summit in partnership with Box ATL, Voices for Georgia's Children, and DBHGD. We had an awesome day filled with expression stations, a youth and young adult panel with our special clinician, and we even had some time for mindfulness and yoga. It was a day well spent with our teens talking about mental health, learning how to free our feels, and engage in conversations about wellness. I'm so excited to see all the content from today that our youth have produced, and I look forward to future opportunities to partner with other youth in the area, as well as our amazing partners here in the Atlanta area and beyond. Have a good day. It's been stressful for real lately. And then this this gave me some peace of mind, like some motivation. Knowing, yeah. So like you good. Yeah. I think it just helped a lot of people out. Like if someone was going through something, I think this helped them out. Yes. And all the activities and stuff, I think it really pushed them like yeah. To be yes. yeah, like, I know what to do now and what not to do. I know some healthy strategies I could do yeah. when I'm feeling down. People are always here for you if you need them. Yeah. Not alone. And that you're not alone with nothing, yeah. I like today. It was very helpful and informational about how to deal with stress and mental health. Oh, uh, I feel happier, like happy to just be out. I think this was a great experience because a lot of kids who didn't know what they now know can better refocus their mindset to understand what's going on. Yeah, that was pretty cool making a vision board. I never made a vision board before in my first time. Today was really good for me because I got to basically see other people for a sec uh, basically got to see other people's point of view of how they are able to release like their feelings and how they feel in certain situations and how they would react to certain situations and that really helped me. And it also helped me by showing that people also uh, are able to have the same experience as me while talking to their parents and I found ways to talk to my parent more or my guardian to be exact. And yeah, it really has helped me, especially with the activities for today, which was the podcast thing, which many people have told me that I should be on podcast because of my voice. And when I heard it today, uh, I probably will start doing that and with the other activities. I really do like talking about a lot of things, so it really did help me. I like making the vision boards. Mine right there, I like making it. That was fun. I didn't never made a vision board before. Sometimes it's hard to get people to interact and stuff, but these group of teens have definitely been interacting, definitely been asking questions, definitely been listening and being attentive, and I think that this this group of teens is like really, really good, and I love what Free Your Feels is doing for them. How everybody's got to talk, you know how y'all speak about certain things that other people don't. They, it was it was fun. It gave me sources and information and resources that I would need maybe to, you know, help out a friend or help out somebody else, stuff like that. I am super excited. I have a new friend with me. She is attached at my side at this moment. But to see the young people really interact in the activities that we had going on, the vision boards, the journaling, the podcast, the self-expression, um, and to see them on the floor doing the yoga, that's like invaluable to me. The lessons that they were taught today, the coping skills that they were given, will take them along throughout life. Like this wasn't just a team summit for today. These are skills we want to teach our young people to have for the duration of their life to be able to regulate their emotions, have coping skills, and have self-care strategies in place so when a crisis happens so if you missed today you missed today like this was an amazing time for all partners to come together box atl 10 communications silence the shame dbhdd as you can see behind me uh, we came together to print on this event at chris 180 like we're using one of our mental health providers to provide a service and activity for young people this will not be our last team summit. This just showed us that this, there's more to do. I'll have my friend with me all the time. Um, she's excited. <laughs> Um, but really, really, really want to give kudos to the Silence and Shame team, the Vox ATL team, um, and everybody that helped put this event on. Really, really excited. I want to thank everybody, and we'll see you soon. Hey. See you soon. <laughs>